Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jacoby. What's up? How are you? So today's video is going to be about how you can stand out when you're trying to get recruited at tryouts. Basically just how you can stand out as a volleyball player. If you haven't already, make sure to go subscribe to my vlog channel. I just post random vlogs, random videos. Um, I just posted a little Gymshark video on that channel, so make sure you go check that out and subscribe! I got this really nice comment from this girl and she was like, you know, like how do I stand out because I'm this or I'm that and here's my advice to you. So I guess I would say, um, first of all, just try to be yourself as much as you can because um, you're typically the best version and the best player when you're just being yourself, honestly. And honestly, coaches will notice if you're just like, oh, oh no. Like if you're kind of shying away from the ball or you're not talking, that's what's gonna get you not noticed is you not communicating. So that's why I would say is what's really, really big is communication. Make sure you call the ball like mine. Don't be like mine. Like no, like get to be assertive, communicate, let the coaches know that you mean, that you mean business, that you can command your team, that you can command the ball and that you are a leader, that's very important. It's really, like, like I think what's important in standing out is being, like, coachable and being, like, your intangibles are more important than your physical attributes most of the time. But how you can stand out is really just talk, communicate, call the ball, and be a leader. And I know some girls are uncomfortable with talking, they're shy, or whatnot, but you really have to break through that if you want to get noticed. Unless you are like super like talented freak athlete, then that's great as well. But if you're not that or whatever, make sure that you're talking and that you're communicative. So also another tip I guess is like a physical one is make sure that you're jumping as high as you can every single time. If you're a hitter, make sure that you are jumping, max jumping every single time. That will get you noticed is your effort and how high you jump every single time because some hitters can just max jump one approach and then the next ball they'll barely jump and that's not cool you shouldn't do that so make sure that you are jumping as high as you can giving maximum effort all the time because you never know who's watching you never know so make sure you're always giving full effort and I mean, if you're a pastor or like a DS, make sure that you're calling the ball once again. And what really makes a DS stand out, in my opinion, is her attitude and like her command of, and her ball control, of course, naturally. But it's just your attitude. Like, you know, great liberos have that attitude. Like, nothing's going to hit my floor. Nothing's going to get past me. Like, I'm going to touch every ball. Like, that kind of mentality, that go get it mentality is so important. Really, if just any volleyball player in general, you have to have that mentality of, like, the ball is not going to hit the floor, like, not on my watch, like, I'm going to be in my spot every single time. So I guess that kind of plays into being disciplined. Discipline is huge because that shows that you can be counted on to score points and not lose points. So I would say that's really important. I mean, if you're, and also if you're a setter, Making sure that your location is on, like every every set or, or at least try to. And when you're a setter, you need to make or you need to have good decision making. So make sure that you are making the best decisions that you can. You're spreading your offense. You're trying to get your hitters one on one. You're getting them in the best position you can. Like that's important. And as a setter, you you need to show that you can like quarterback your team, that you're a leader, and that you have the ability to run your team basically, because you run the offense. So yeah, that's my advice. Just don't like don't be scared of rejection. Just because like this one girl said that she was short, and that's what like, kind of what makes her think that she's not gonna get noticed. Own that. Like you're short. That's okay. Like. Find your strength, like say you're short, but you're a really good passer. Like then talk, be communicative, demand the ball, you know, like play to your strengths. If you lack, even though that's not even, a, that's not an efficiency being short, but I mean, if you lack in one area, work at the other thing that you're really good at. Like say you're short, but you're really good at defense. Show that you're really good at defense and you will stand out if you get an amazing ball up that looked impossible, but you got it up. Like. Just find what you're good at and focus on that and work at it so hard because you're already naturally good at it. So imagine if you put your 
Ooh, sorry. Imagine if you put your, not time and energy, but imagine if you put focus and emphasis on that skill, then that's gonna get you noticed. If you're really good at one skill, that will get you noticed. And I think that, I think, yeah, and that also goes back to knowing like your strengths and weaknesses. I cannot stress that enough, how important that is, is to know who you are and what you are. And in this girl's instance, she is about, <coughs> oh my God, sorry. She's about to start her 16th year. So, I mean, you still have a little bit of time, but I would start getting to focus on what you're really good at and then obviously keep working at your weaknesses or whatnot. But yeah, like it's really, like yeah, it is about getting noticed, you're right, but what you can do is just be the best version of yourself and know what you're good at, please. That's literally the moral of the story. Know what you're good at, know your weaknesses, know your strengths, play to your strengths, and that will get you noticed. But I think, literally I cannot say this enough, the main thing is just to be loud, talk, call the ball, have energy, dive after balls, be in the huddle, high five people. Like, you know, be, I think energy, energy is a huge thing that will get you noticed. If you're loud, you're flying all over the place, you're getting balls up, you're giving, you're sacrificing your body, you're on the ground every single time, you are intense, you're locked in, that's what's gonna get you noticed on top of your physical skill is are you busting your butt? Are you hustling? Are you giving it your all? Every single point, that will definitely get you noticed if you think that you're lacking in one area. So that's my advice to you. That's my advice to everyone who wants to play college volleyball, they want to get recruited and they don't know how to stand out. That's some ways you can get noticed. I think another way to get noticed is to contact the coaches before the tournament. So, meaning if you're old enough and you can contact, actually I don't really know the NCAA rules, I would look those up because I really don't know off the top of my head, but if you can, contact the coach before that, of the school that you want to come watch you, email them, be like, hey, like, blah, 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 this, this is my name, my height, my position, my club, um, I'm interested in your school, blah, 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 um, a link to your highlight video maybe, um, and then give them your tournament schedule and be like, I'm playing at this tournament. Uh, I would love for you to come watch me. Here's my schedule, here's um, the team schedule, all that stuff. And they may or may not come and watch you. But that's one way to, for sure to have someone come and watch you is just to contact them first and tell them that you want them to come watch you. And most of the time they will come and watch you if they are interested, if their interest is peaked from your highlight video or anything else that you send in that email. So that's what I would suggest if that's like a surefire way to get someone to come watch you is to send out emails. And don't be afraid to send out like multiple, just ugh. keep your list large at first, if you're, especially if you're like 16s or 15, 16, 17s, I would definitely keep your list large and you can taper it down as you get older, but make sure you have about or not a bunch of schools but a list of schools that you like academically academically and athletically and they should come and see you some of them will some of them won't and also don't be afraid of rejection that's another thing um rejection is just a part of life so don't be afraid of that it happens to everyone happens to the best of us so don't be afraid of getting rejected because you never know who can say yes or who can say no but that's the beauty of it that's kind of the fun of it is seeing who will say yes and who will want to come see you and watch you play and potentially recruit you. It's pretty fun. It could be stressful, but it's fun. So that's my advice to you is on how to stand out and how to get people to come watch you, how to get noticed. Oh yeah, another tip I have is to make sure you have a good highlight video. That's so important. I pretty much say that in every single one of my videos about recruiting. Make sure you have a good highlight video. Make sure you have a good um, base of film and different videos you know have some unedited videos of you playing have some unedited um maybe like a skill video or something like that just make sure you have a good arsenal of tape because not everyone can come see you like if you live in alabama like me um <coughs> i'm so sorry gross um if you live in alabama like me and you contact someone in i don't know California and you're playing a qualifier in Georgia 
Um, nine times out of ten, they're probably or nah, okay, it depends, but sometimes they literally physically cannot see you because you're just so far away. So that's where tape comes in. That's where film comes in. That's where your highlight videos play a huge important role. Okay. Maybe so make sure you have a banging highlight video. If you're gonna contact schools that are far away from you, out of your region, make sure that you have a good highlight video so they can really latch onto something and be like, okay, yes, we want this girl, and then you can go on from there. But that's like my number, okay, everything's my number one tip, but like, that's also really important. That's what helped me a lot, was having a good highlight video because some of these schools are really far away, but some of them did want me because, like for example, Gonzaga wanted me, they're all the way in Washington, I, they never saw me play in person, but I had a good highlight video to the point where they wanted me. So make sure that you have a good highlight video. It's really important. Also, isn't this fan really cute? Like, what? I got it from Epcot. Super cute. But anyway, yeah, that's it. Okay, now we can end this video. Um, make sure to comment on this video if you have any more questions. Um, if you have any video requests, make sure to leave me a comment. I love reading those. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more volleyball videos, more college videos, and I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Be good. Bye.